everyone. To begin, please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. All right. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Um, my name is Madison Berube and I'm speaking as Associated Student Body President to welcome you all to the Arcata High School Class of 2021 graduation ceremonies. On behalf of my fellow classmates, I want to extend a warm welcome and gratitude to our families, friends, teachers, school staff, administrators, and board members for being here either in person or in thought this evening and for the support they have given us throughout the years. I'm excited to extend this welcome, as last fall I could not imagine a graduation ceremony where we'd all be able to sit here together. This moment is especially sweet because this last year we have all faced challenges to get to this point. However, we have all successfully made it and are for now, for the most part, ready for our next steps. We have learned many things from our teachers at our, and staff at Arcata High for example, certain teachers give pop quizzes on Senior Ditch Day. <laughs> um, but more seriously, we learn that our teachers are lifelong learners, as they've shown by teaching online and hybrid all in one school year. We also learn from Principal Manji to check emails before sending, and that like him, if we miss something, we can always have a take two, just like he did. And that is important in life. Give yourself plenty of take twos when you need them. After all, we may not remember the Pythagorean theorem in 10 years, but we will hopefully carry with us lessons about trying until we get it right, giving grace when needed, and asking for help on occasion. Instead of an ending, I see this moment as a beginning for us all. After all, commencement is rooted in Latin for beginning. With that said, let's start our new beginning. And instead of saying goodbye, I'll repeat, welcome. Welcome to the next chapter of our lives. Thank you. I invite Carly to come on up. everyone. What's good? <laughs> took my love, took it down. So climbed a mountain and I turned around. And I saw my reflection in the snow-covered hills to the landslide brought Oh, mirror in the sky, what is love? Can the child within my heart rise above? Can I sail through the changing ocean tides? Can I handle the seasons of my life? changing cause I build my life around you but time makes you bolder even children get older and I'm getting older too yeah I'm getting older too I climbed a mountain and I turned around 
And if you see my reflection in the snow-covered hills, a landslide will bring you down. A landslide will bring you down. Well, I've been afraid of changing because I feel my life But time makes you bolder, even children get older, and I'm getting older too. Yeah, I'm getting older too. Thank you. So welcome. Uh, my name is Jim Monji. I'm the principal. I'll probably say that again because it's written down a little later in my speech. Um, the view is much different up here than it's been from back there eight years as assistant principal, so a little nervous. But I want to uh, recognize our students who've done an outstanding job. Many, many outstanding students at Arcata High. Our top 10%, the, the students at the top 10%, need almost a 4.3 grade point average just to be in that category. It's, it's amazing. There's about 20 kids that are at a super high level, and we're going to recognize our top two right now. So our salutatorian for the class of 2021 is Kayla J. And our valedictorian is Ms. Viz Vivian Gersting. Take two. Hello, my name is Kayla J, and I'm the salutatorian for the class of 2021. I'm grateful to be here with all of you today. And as I stand up here, there's one question I'd like to ask you. What's on your bucket list? After a few months of sheltering in place, I decided to create my own bucket list of things to look forward to after the pandemic. My list wasn't long and it contained all the usual suspects take a road trip down the California coast with my friends, scuba dive off Catalina Island, whitewater rafting down the Rogue River, and so on. However, looking back on my high school career, I felt as though my list was incomplete. The class of 2021 experienced more than our fair share of unconventional circumstances. And upon reflection, I'm motivated to amend my list to include some equally unconventional items. Let's start with the power shutoffs our junior year. Waiting until 6.30 in the morning to learn if there was school that day wasn't fun. Going to school without power or heat and completing homework assignments on my phone wasn't easy. So 
I'm revising my list to include take comfort in life's small moments of predictability. Next came the California wildfires. I know I'm not alone in feeling like I had awakened on an alien planet with an ominous dark red sky and a thick, smoky atmosphere. So I'm adding to my list, take the time to breathe in the clean air and admire the clear blue skies. The protests, walkouts, marches, and movements that were the backdrop of our high school career are not something we can easily forget. As we slide back into normalcy, we can't let time or complacency weaken our resolve to help bring about change. So, to my bucket list, I'm adding, actively take part in the generation that faces the world's problems by insisting on change, staying informed, and voting. When the pandemic began, the fragility of our day-to-day -day lives became undeniable. Nowhere on my list did it mention social distancing, remote learning, masks, isolation, or Zoom. So, what's on my bucket list now? Be grateful for the ordinary. Be open to change. Notice people's smiles and friendly faces. Sit in a crowded movie theater or college lecture hall. Nothing remote, nothing distanced, no more isolation. So, I ask you again, what's on your bucket list? I'd like to say thank you to all of our teachers and the Arcata High School staff and administration who checked in with us about our mental health, who gave us a chance to vent, and who went the extra mile. We know it wasn't easy, and we appreciate you. Thank you to our families, who got to spend a lot more time with us than usual. Thank you for your love, support, and patience. And to my classmates, the class of 2021, congratulations. Good evening, teachers, friends, family, counselors, oh, sorry, <laughs> and the Arcata High School graduating class of 2021. I am honored to be standing here today, in person, speaking to all of you. It is such a privilege to represent the class of 2021 after what has been an exciting and challenging four years together. For those in the audience who don't know me, my name is Vivian. Most of my time is spent with schoolwork and riding my bike. I'm also clumsy enough to have run into almost every desk edge and door frame at Arcata High. So while I may not be the most qualified to provide advice for our futures, on behalf of all of us graduates, I would like to thank the teachers, staff, family, friends that guided us all, t <laughs> guided all 201 of us through the last four years. I would also like to take a moment to recognize someone who isn't here with us today, but should have been. Although I didn't know Everett Halakis well, he was a quintessential part of our class. Through his athletic abilities and contagious smile, he was able to uplift those around him. As we walk across the stage today, we carry him with us. In writing this speech, I've been reflecting on the last four years and remembering our first moments at Arcata High. Coming from Jacoby Creek, I was shocked to learn that I would be going to a school with two stories and not one, but two gyms. I'm sure many of us got lost on campus those first few weeks. We also thought that by senior year, we would know our way around. I can confirm we were wrong. Just over a month ago, when we finally came back to campus, a group of us was sure we knew where Mr. Kantner's room was, only to discover we really had no idea. 
Though we may not always know our way around campus, we are a class that is going places. With the diversity of interests and talents, we are each going to be an integral part of the future. We will be the leaders, business owners, teachers, scientists, medical professionals, construction workers, performers, and politicians of the future. The resilience and adaptability we have gained from the pandemic are skills that we will never unlearn. And though this past year was not easy, we will continue to be better prepared for future challenges because of our flexibility, optimism, and commitment. We are a class that passionately participates in and advocates for the issues that matter to us. Since freshman year, we have been involved in and led clubs focused on climate change, human rights, equity and inclusion, and so much more. Our BSU, AAPI, Native American, Latinx, and Gen Up clubs have been working tirelessly to educate our school district and county, calling out systemic racist behaviors within our own community, and elevating the voices of minorities in hopes of leaving a legacy and campus that is much more inclusive and equitable for all students. Given these amazing efforts in high school, I can only imagine the important things our classmates will tackle in the future. Additionally, from producing beautiful art and becoming finalists at State History Day to breaking school sprinting records, our class is so amazing, Miss Condit, Miss Moore, and Miss Olson couldn't even stand to be here any longer without us. <laughs> we, the class of 2021, should be proud. We've weathered a global pandemic and over a year of high school on Zoom, and that's on top of all the usual challenges of being teenagers. We may have experienced many of our lasts, races, competitions, big social events, in our sophomore and junior years without realizing it, but we are more ready than ever for the firsts to come. And though we're branching out to at least eight states and four countries, we will always share our common roots here in the North Coast. The last four years have been full of tears, laughter, hardship, and joy, but we did it. We are graduating. We are going places. Next, we have performers from our AAI music program. Sing on.
Gentlemen, we are Tigress. Don't you forget about us. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, oh. Won't you come see about me? I'll be alone. Dancing, you know we baby. Give them everything inside. 
Congratulations, everyone! We did it! Yeah, one more time for these lovely student band members. And sitting over way on the track is their teacher, Miss Moulton. So big shout out to Miss Moulton. So again, welcome, family and friends. I'm Jim Mondry, your principal. <laughs> and it's an honor to be here today. Class of 2021, you've shown compassion for one another, supported each other in friendship, and shown a greater resilience than any of us would have thought possible. Your accomplishments this year are not measured in grades and awards, but on personal growth and perseverance. Graduates, you and your classmates will have stories to tell about how you finished your high school career in a pandemic. Last year, we lost a classmate, Everett Halicus. To me, he seemed to get along with everyone and his, he was always greeting you with a smile. Two weeks later, school was closed and we began our online education. For some of you, that was the last time you were on our Cato Heights campus in person. This year, we began your senior year virtually. Some of you transitioned to hybrid learning and now we're sitting here to honor all of our accomplishments, all of your accomplishments. I've seen you put together amazing video presentations, educating us about race and equity, holding virtual performances that entertained us, completed a whirlwind sports season. It ends Saturday night. Earned the seal by literacy, participated in the Innovate Challenge, worked with public health and your class advisors to put on an outdoor prom and continue to learn and encourage, engage in your schooling against the greatest odds. But your story doesn't end here. It's just beginning and new adventures await you. As you look ahead, I ask you to consider two things. One, the road can be filled with many twists and turns. This pandemic has forced most of us to be flexible, bending without breaking. You will be challenged in life, your career, college, work, relationship, friendships. How are you gonna embrace those twists and turns? Second, who will support you on your journey? Through your high school experience, many have relied on family, friends, teachers, and peers. Your hard work and their support made today possible. Your hard work. My question is this, who are you taking on your next journey? As we mentioned before, we have three special people who have made many of these graduates and taken the journey with them. Kathy Olson, Cindy Condit, Joanne Moore are also graduating from Arcata High this year. We don't know what their next journey holds, but we know they have set the bar high for their replacements in terms of academic rigor, student engagement, and support. I would like to thank the many people who have helped you graduates make this day possible. Parents, grandparents, drivers with horns, aunts and uncles, siblings,
teachers, office staff, custodians, bus drivers, nurses, counselors, instructional aides, school psychologists, speech pathologists, coaches, friends, peers, and mentors. Together, you've had a large part in making this day possible for our students. Congratulations, class of 2021, on reaching this point in your journey. I believe you're ready to embrace the next challenge in your life, whatever that path may lead you on. Superintendent McDonald, the Northern Humboldt Union High School Board of Trustees, it is my great privilege to present to you the Arcata High School Class of 2021. Mind you, almost made me cry, man. Um, quite honestly, there's not a whole lot that I could say after Kayla and Vivian really captured the student experience in, in Manji. Jim, I think you did a fabulous job this year. Um, it's a difficult time to come into a new job and you just handled it. You took care of people the whole way and uh, kept just the proper perspective. You meant a lot to all of us. Thank you. <clears throat> I, um, and actually, I wrote down here that I was touched by his words because I knew that I would be, and I was. Um, and I do appreciate uh, both personally and professionally the support for all the students that are really the core of the culture at Arcata High School. Um, to the family and the community that are gathering here today, in person and virtually, you've supported us tremendously throughout the year. No matter what, you've always been there for us when we need you. Our collective community pride is the foundation of our district, and we could not achieve what we do without your support, feedback, and love. Faculty and the staff, I thank you so much for putting all into our students and navigating the unpredictable maze that has been the pandemic. I know it has not been easy. I know at times it's been frustrating, but I also know that you rose to the challenge every single time something was tweaked or changed. You stretched yourselves, and while it wasn't easy, I know that this has to feel satisfying to you today. And our seniors. I am exceptionally proud of you for meeting all the challenges that have been thrown at you. Your journey through the four years of high school has been unique, and not just because we've been bathed in COVID for 15 months. You stood up for a number of causes throughout your high school career and have found your collective voice. I know that many around the world are mourning the gap of in-person learning or schooling and are concerned about learning loss. And while I agree that it's been difficult, I think that you're more ready for the next step in your lives than we adults might think. I mean, how much did you learn about yourself this year? You lost the familiar and you found ways to replicate that virtually. You found ways to safely navigate the COVID and in a lot of ways nudged and pushed us, pushed us adults to find ways to meet your needs. I wonder what you accomplished that you never would have had things been normal. From a parent's perspective, I've seen my two girls become much more independent and able to solve problems on their own. My Arcata High senior managed to find connections that she may not have been able to make in a typical school setting. I imagine that the same could be said about all of you and more. I want to thank you seniors for the respect and enthusiasm in which you came back to campus. I have to say that safely mingling with you on campus, attending your community and supporting events has made me whole. I mean that. Thank you. We gather today to celebrate your accomplishments and your perseverance. I call on all of you to take what you've learned over the course of four years and make your mark in our community and beyond. We will always be here for you, and I know that you will make us all proud. To the governing board of the Northern Humboldt Union High School District, I certify that these Arcata High seniors have met the requirements of the state of California and the Northern Humboldt Union High School District. I present to you these exceptional candidates and invite you, Cedric Aaron Jr., to accept the class of 2021. Sorry, y'all. I am not tall like Roger, so. And I had to write this down because I talk a lot for a lot of people who do know me and only have 50 seconds, and I want to follow the rules and get y'all graduates out of here. So again, I am honored to be here this afternoon representing the Northern Humboldt Union High School District Board of Trustees. This ceremony is truly one of the most rewarding and significant events of the school year. Graduates, this diploma that you are about to receive has an unwritten story of your individual high school story. Some positive, some complex. But use these lessons in a healthy way as you begin to finesse this adulting thing. You're almost here. 
The board is so grateful for the amazing support our community, guardians, aunties, uncles, grandmas, committee uncles, meemaws, who whatnot, admin, teachers, and staff give to our school, and most importantly, our students and their successes. Congratulations to each graduate. We wish you the very best in your future. We encourage you to follow your dreams wherever they may take you. And on behalf of the entire Northern Humboldt Union High School District, Board of Trustees, it is my tremendous honor to formally certify that all graduates here have met the requirements set forth by the state of California and accept them as the Arcata High School graduating class of 2021. Victor John Coonrod. <laughs> Nolan Weldon Camper. Ernesto Maximilian Cesar Capuccio. <laughs> Lucas William Russell. <laughs> Ashley Florencia Tibbetts. Lisbeth Guadalupe Ontiveros. Christopher Anthony Marty Taylor. Christina Nicole Marty Taylor. Melovi Lenise Solia.
Bryson Dwayne Brandon. Caroline Riley Lenkarani. Madeline Reese Lankarani. Madison Caitlin Quelo. Alyssa Nicole Pedicino. Isabel Charity Knife. Ruby Loretta Langdon. Alexis Trinity Roberts. Sadira Ananda Shapiro. Madeline Brooke Durham. Phoenix Tatsuo Tamura. Reese Lynn Taylor. Madison Faith Barubi. Kayla Kathleen J. Vivian Sky Gerstein. Grace Mia Arlene Mitchell. Miley Rose Pinto. Andrew James Metier. Jalina and Marie Riccio. Marissa May Mendoza. Lotus Grace Monahan. Sarah Everall Browning. Ella Joyce Waterhouse. Genevieve Marie Dean Landon. Aliana Kylia Grace Gilkerson. Kylie Lena Faye Swanson. Riley Orion Cortez Mosher.
Cheyenne Nicole Weekly. <laughs> Bianca Jasmine Barajas. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Bryant. Sophia Jade Thole. Lisa Marie Ott. Owen Fraser Smith. Brianna Joselin Garcia. <laughs> Isabel Sada Huedo. <laughs> Miles Augustine Beck Johnson. Anders Arthur Johnson. Arabella Giselle Miranda. Evelyn Sofia Miranda Garcia. Kai Veritas McCutcheon. Jackson Lee Dodd. Kendra Nicole Flint. Ayla Mae Wolf. <laughs> Linda Elizabeth Carlson. <laughs> Kate Jessica Plumley. Natalia Lila Pena Martin. <laughs> Isabella Maria Pena Martin. Maya Paulina Scanlon. Emma Michelle Sayer. Spencer Charles Lloyd Stratton. Adrian Sage York. Lucian Hart Duarte Steinkamp. Nico Xavier Taylor. Aiden Brody Lyons. Emily Grace Kirk. (laughs) 
Lachlan Christopher Fraser. Tristan Harris Huff. Mackenzie Ann Dodd. Alicia Lucille Adorni. Rhiannon Rose Swim. Tulsi Davy Aislin Rodriguez Macias. Carmen Alexis Midtune. Bailey Grace Ives. Maya Rain Perry. Tatum Kennedy Carlin. Mason Jeffrey Jordan Nichols. <laughs> Tegan David Hesseltine. <laughs> Molly Virginia Puzz. Camden Jane Nichols. Iona Wendy Mills. Alyssa Sequoia Moorhead. Ella Francis Day. Cheyenne Keeler Jean Wilson. Yes, I am. Pearl Dozier. Yeah. Zoe Petrina Leonard. Owen Michael Van Mantkem. Gabriel Paul Patterson Owen. Zoe Sierra Andre. Sebastian Cole Hasselquist. Luke Charles Garlic. Jonah Auden Powell. Maya Rose. King Wyrick. Sophia Grace Salinas. Mina Linda Abasi. Avery Graham Arbaugh. Avery. 
Avery Credence Vaughn. Phoenix J. Paz Swaggart. Martina Matea Mapatis. Ellie Panzerotti Ballinger. Megan Olivia Lawrence. Stella Marie Walston. Faith Tina Pappas Moody. Nula Lockwood. Ashlyn Pauline Dickerson. Mari Evans Pepper. Amanda Para. Maya Ray Brown. Gabrielle Marie Lewis. Caitlin Louise Gilbride. Eva Madrone Weller. Avery Patricia Thornborough. Isaac Salvador Villasenor. Marcus Glenn Benson. Jasmine Violet White. Zippora Magdalena Gaskell. Jake Michael Noller. Zane Clark. Lola Magdalena Renteria. Yasko Shanti Masias. Mason Lang Railsback. Aiden Martin Atkins Salazar. Hudson James Maru. Kyle Philip Plumley. Bella Voles Broughton. Zarian Roar Denny. <laughs> Celeste Carey Joyner. <laughs> Noah Patrick Dubois.
Ryan Lee Bellinger. Bella Lee Paytas. Carson Edward Krantz. Jack Mitchell Malast. Mason Jeremy Hamarillo. Leif David Holmes. Patricia Rose Delashmet McDonald. Caitlin Louise Wheatley. <laughs> Elliot Evan Gomes. <laughs> Diego Manuel Sanchez Alvarez. Brooke Ailani Bisgrove. Sabrina Marie Wilson. Adam Craig Davison. Corbin Vincent Luoma. Rachel Ann Meyer. <laughs> Maywan Michiko Gachuk. <laughs> Oliver Lucas Segura. Austin Carl Costello Anderson. Nadia Alexandra Camarillo. Joaquin Grigor Jackman. Cheyenne Isabel Juntini. Sean Mario Juntini. Autumn Grace Miller. Avi Satava. Rune Bluntser. Tristan Jonah Washington. Brian Giovanni Perez Rasso. Yeah, 
Logan Blaine Richmond. Oscar Gabriel Von Dernetti. Cullen Gabriel Manser. Ethan Miller. Tyrell David Clausen. Alex Ortiz Santos. Isabella Rose Cologne. David Herbert Mitch. Dean Zachary Wellick. Shayla Janet Lomelli. Riven Jude Schlichting. Riley Kevin Walsh. Madeline Nicole Lassiter Chavarria. Lucas Othaniel Dunbar. Austin Riley Mitchell. Shamoya Detalia Small. <laughs> Dylan Alexander Kyle. Archer Garrison Brayton. Stephen Robert Deeker the third. Coleman Clay Barker. One more time, a big round of applause for the class of 2021. <laughs> class of 2021, would you please rise? And if you still have a tassel on your hat, you may move it from the right to the left. Family and friends, 
Here is the Arcata High School graduating class of 2021.